picture this. You're a newly creator, you want to get into YouTube, maybe you want to make your own films or movies. So what you do is you go around, you check what you need to get started, and you start looking into editing software. That's when you hear about Adobe, Premiere, After Effects, Sony Vegas, Avid Media Composer. So you go ahead and look into those pieces of software and you just immediately get slapped in the face because of the price tag. So instead, like many before you, you sadly turn to the dark side and you pirate one of those pieces of software. Now, in an alternative reality, you might have looked at something else, something like Resolve or any other good. Is there another good free video editor? I actually don't know. Anyway, maybe you found a crazy deal um, on some editing software that you weren't really sure in, but you looked at it and you were like, hey, why not give it a try? It's not that expensive. Or maybe you're just one of those people who likes torturing themselves and use VSDC. People use that? Now I, I looked far and wide and totally didn't just see a deal on Humble Bundle and decide, you know, I can make a video of this, you know, great return to YouTube, Jay. And I found something that some of you might have actually used. I know I have, however, not in recent years. So I thought, hey, you know what? Why not give it a try again? See what's up. I'm talking about Movavi Video Editor. Saw a deal on Humble Bundle. I thought, you know what? Why not? Just go for it. Let's check it out. Make a video so you don't need to spend the money in case it sucks. So that's what we're doing here. Questions I want to answer. What's the software like now? Is it any good? For who is it and should you switch? Well, I'll tell you. I haven't even looked at the software yet. I, I claimed the keys, but you know, I didn't really, I, I don't even have it installed truly. So, <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I, I, <laughs> I was, I, di I didn't even properly start recording and the software has already crashed on me. All right. So basically this is the screen that I get once I'm actually, you know, I've, j I've just opened it. That's all I've done. All right. So now what I'm kind of planning on doing right now is making the intro that you just seen. I've not edited that part yet. However, I thought, why not give it a try and edit that in Movavi and let's see how it is. Now I use a black magic camera, meaning I have the ability to shoot raw and I always shoot raw. So I have this raw file already. Now I'm wondering, can Movavi import raw? I don't think it can, but if it can, I'll be impressed. It cannot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Luckily I've already got it converted. And then the MKV is uh, the actual LUT or not the LUT, but I guess what it's supposed to look like. And I zoom in, not smoothly, but that's okay. All right. And this is going to be my audio and it Okay, I don't like that. Do I need to add an extra video? Okay, that's annoying that it doesn't do that automatically. Oh, and the audio is like under the video. That's interesting. So as you can see, normally you have like all of your video tracks and then your audio tracks separate. However, here, let me, let me move to a more flattering. That's not more flattering. Over here, you can see that the audio is sitting right below the video preview instead. That's interesting. Uh, let's see if we have sound. We do not have sound. Does the original file have sound? Uh -huh. This is actually just for audio, but you so it has audio so it should just have it out of the bat i already see color adjustment and i'm not even like i'm still i'm still here what about this what can i do here volume is at 100 percent. i don't think that's the case playback is really slow like as you can see it like takes a second to start playing i, I don't know if that how why that's happening uh but that is that is actually slightly annoying i don't like that can i just delete this audio. Oh, so it's not linked together. Oh, but it is at the same time. So it is and it isn't linked at the same. Okay. I just want to be able to hear this. And there's no audio meter. I don't see one actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to render the audio separate real quick. It is a little bit annoying that it just doesn't pick it up, but I'm going to render it out to wave waveform and uh, we'll see if it picks up then. Okay, quick update. Uh, whenever I try and put the MKV file in, it, Adobe also bitches at me. However, VLC Media Player still plays it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly use Handbrake. This is a real process. I, I don't know why why this is like this should just be import. 
whenever I'm using, whenever I'm editing in Resolve, it's also just import. Um, with Premiere it doesn't, but then again, it's Adobe, what do you want? All right, so after a lot of faffing about, um, I think I have an audio file. So I'm gonna delete the audio here. And instead I'm gonna put in the WAV file. All right, now let's see if that actually works. Okay, I think it does. So, uh -huh. this is actually just for audio. It works. All right, that was a lot of, <laughs> oh my God. That was, that was annoying. I'm gonna say that was just annoying. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna be using, I'm gonna see where I clap in this. Cause I do, oh, this is not smooth. You know this how like me scrolling is just not smooth at all. Keep in mind, I'm running this on a very powerful computer. This should be way smoother than it is. Uh, because now it's really hard for me to actually tell where I clapped. All right. Oh no. Okay, so it actually moves every time you click. So, or this is this is harder than it should be. There it is. All right. Can we mark it? Is M a marker? No. Is star a marker? No. All right. Is this a marker button? Control M. All right. So, sync point. Split, rotate, crop, color. I really want to try the color adjustment. That, that's for later. Record audio. Um, delete. All right, now that we've seen that, let's try and see where we control M sync point two. So now, you know what, we're just gonna place it there and we're gonna split it and we're gonna delete the first part. Cool. And then we're gonna go here and we're gonna, oh my God, we're gonna split it and we're gonna delete the first part. No, just the first part. So now it should be at least a little bit synchronized. Picture this, you're a newly creator, you want to get into YouTube, maybe you want to make your own films or movies. So what you do is you go around, you check what you need to get started, and you start looking into editing software. Boom. All right. So it took way too long. I also don't need this anymore. Cool. So we're going to put that down. So now everything is synchronized. So this needs to be a cut. Is there a hotkey for... Okay. That sucks so much. If I click on a clip, I don't mean to move to the to the seconds or rather the the place in time where I'm, I where I click. No, I want to select the clip. I don't want to move there. If I want to move there, I'll click up here. This is still not properly linked. Is there a way to properly link it? I don't know how. Okay. All right. So the software is so little enjoyable to use right now, just by the interface, the way the buttons work the shortcuts that it is almost just not enjoyable to to work in it compared to resolve which is free this is i i, I don't even know how expensive is it actually i'm going to i'm going to look it up this is 42 euros and this is already just not enjoyable to use movavi has a photo editor with a lot of ai feature when it comes to color and just enhancements when it comes to color. So I'm interesting to see what they actually have in the video because this might be interesting. So we have auto contrast, you know, let's apply auto contrast. Sure, why not? Yeah, boom. Okay, let's, let's do auto saturation. No, nothing happened. All right, so let's 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 try it. All right, let's let's add a bit of saturation. All right, there's no live preview. I don't have any scopes. This is horrible. That's oh no 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 no. No, keep that at zero. So we're gonna reset this, right? We're gonna reset it. You know, what? sure. Let's add let's add mystery. Check. I think what they wanna do is is this is kind of made for phone footage, right? This is not made for log which I kind of get. I kind of want to see what happens when, if I can put a LUT on it. I'm going to see if, if that's possible. It doesn't look like it. They don't really have a lot of effects either. Sure, they have stickers. We got some tech. We got a lot of transitions, a lot of filters as well. Flying objects, autumn leaves. Maybe you want to make your own films <laughs> or movies. So what you do is- Oh my God. Okay. No, we're not doing that. So we, we have some blur. Check what you need. 
the playback actually seems pretty much the same. Need to get started, and you start. That's with... disgusting. Um, looking into. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> what you... All right, invert it. That's cursed. Mirror. All right. Now, though these things. Okay, so they don't. They don't have. The effects don't have parameters. So there are no variables which you can change. Apparent. Actually, I really like light leaks. You know, I kind, I do enjoy them. So let's let's try something here. We're gonna. I like no no. I kind of want something blue. Something blue. Not a lens flare. We're not gonna be adding no or purple. It. You know what? It's fine. I guess I can't have everything. Yes, sure. Let's let's add a vignette. So what you do is you go around. <laughs> you know. Oh Picture no, it's, it's animated. You're a movie creator, you want to get into YouTube, maybe you want to make your own films or movies. So, what you do is you go around, you check what you I thought it was an overlay to get started and But it seems actually just like an effect. For a company as Movavi, that actually has a pretty decent from what I've seen, it kind of looks like Luminar. That already has AI and, and color and automatic stuff down. It doesn't really feel like it has color down when it comes to Video. I don't even know what I like about this off. It's laggy, like like really really laggy. Like it it is just stuck right now. Like if are these really all the tools? You don't have a, a preview when you hover over them, but then again you don't with with Adobe either. But you do with Resolve, and I was kind of hoping, you know, Resolve Resolve is free, and it has so many features in it already that you can just get for free. That I was expecting a paid editor to at least give give me a better experience than this. I want I really wanted to like this, but currently, just not enjoying. It does feel like it is running pure OpenGL. OpenGL is a graphics engine that they use for video games or you know like this effects. There is a different library which Resolve, Sony Vegas, and HitFilm use, which is called OpenX, OpenFX. Um, which I was kind of hoping to see because open effects is so what do you say customizable compared to this I'm not feeling it also I want to be able to like zoom like make my make the track bigger but it doesn't seem like I can oh god what did I do here no 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 <laughs> everything is breaking Jesus Christ what it, what even is this I have I have a I have a filter on here I'm I don't even I'm not this is my original look. I want something. Give me something cool. Come on. You can do that. Magic enhance. You know what? Let's try magic enhance. What happens? Oh god. Creator, you want to get into YouTube, maybe you want to make your own films or movies. So this is very noisy. Like this is really 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 noisy. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't know if it's because of this because previews in the si smaller size uh whatever my footage is not that noisy like you see all these artifacts this is this is like imagine if you downloaded um a youtube video three times over uploaded it downloaded uploaded downloaded and so forth and eventually you're gonna see these artifacts what i'm curious about is if you see this in the final render i'm just gonna render this you know just to see what the experience is when rendering so what do we have we have mp4 mov you know let's do mov just because Oh, I can't change advance. Okay, so I wanna I wanna look see what it has DCI. What? So this standard right here is 4K DCI, which is a cinema standard. It is a movie standard, right? It is slightly wider than 4K. Why do they support this but don't have basic timeline done? Sure, it's just a resolution to add, but clearly someone is thinking of this. Someone has has film in mind. Bitrate, I I don't care. You know what? Let's try auto. Uh, it says twenty five. <laughs> That's gonna be a massive file. Stereo, yeah, this is this is all fine with me. Sure, it's gonna be three hundred and fifty six. You know what? If can access the specified destination folder. Why can't you? All right, let's just render you here. I'll, I'll just export in my temp. 
Alright, uh, I'm curious to how much how long this takes. Only 12 seconds. It got a basic lot that the software itself decided before rendering. And it took Oh <laughs> Oh that sound. We're just gonna watch it together. I'm instead of uh, the screen recording, I'll make sure to put the actual file in editing, right? But this is what it looks like, okay? Uh, you're gonna be looking at the same thing as I am. Actually, instead of that, um, notice how when I put in the clip and resolve, it says media offline because doesn't, like, I think it's coded, encoded in just such a codec that resolve just doesn't even understand it. So you're instead gonna be watching the screen. It basically looks the same. Picture this. You're a newly creator, you want to get into YouTube, maybe you want to make your own films or movies. So, what you do is you go around, you check what you need to get started, and you start looking into editing software. Is it me? Or, like, the grain, the artifacts, it's all there. Also, for some reason, I just noticed it, but they made it look like it was day. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit this and show you how it's supposed to look. Like, can we compare the two here? The right one is what I created. Look at the noise, it is a lot better controlled, even in really, really dark, which is when, you know, the noise usually comes out. It's still really controlled. There's a lot of data, it's still 10 bit, so there is there, noise reduction. It Does it have noise reduction? So it doesn't have, Noise reduction. Can we just look at the difference between the two? I'm really disappointed. And I know it's automatically generated, sure. But the amount of noise is a lot better controlled in Resolve. Like what you're seeing right now, these are the exact same camera settings I used back then. I don't get it. I don't. Do I recommend this editor? <sighs> no. Not even if you're a beginner. Um. I, I wanted to like the software, you know, I wanted to try something new. I want to, I wanted to be like, yeah, I got some experience in a bunch of editors, you know, including these, 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 and these, you know, it's, it's great to put on your CV. Hell, why not? I'm, I'm so disappointed. And I get that, like, once you already have footage that's just Rec. 709, which is just basic footage out of a regular camera, it will probably look a lot better. For me, as someone who is into film, who likes film, it's not it. Timeline feels annoying, it doesn't recognize basic file formats, so I had to convert it three times before it did. The video looks really grainy, even though you saw it yourself. I went into advanced at the highest bitrate possible and selected um, highest resolution, best quality. And I still get something like this. At that point, I'm just disappointed. I think the person, or rather the software this is for, is probably going to be for someone that just wants it to be, that wants the software to be as dumb as possible, right? So you just wanna, you wanna take your camera or, or phone even, you just wanna film, done, right? You go on vacation, you wanna just, you know, you wanna, you wanna film that you're at the beach, you wanna film your hotel, your room, whatever, right? And then you want to make a small collage, maybe a small montage of whatever you did. Um, maybe, maybe, but for YouTube or for, for film, even home videos, I feel like would still be better if you edited it in Resolve or hit film, it will probably end up being a lot better. Maybe one day, they will do a massive update and it's going to support open effects. It's going to have a much better timeline. It's going to better shortcuts, more effects for you to choose from. Then it might be worth it. Right now, not even for basic stuff should you have to use a paid editor that does this little. My name was Jay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't buy the software. Maybe I'm gonna I mean let me let me know if you guys want me to check out the the other software that was in there like uh, their their photo editor 
I'll, I'll be glad to take take a look at that. I'll partner it with CJ for some photos. He doesn't even know I said this. I'll, uh, uh, it'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is... No, no, don't buy it. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe different software. We're going to do some, some, some fun stuff. We're gonna going to go back to the YouTube grind. Well, not grind, but we're going to have fun. See ya.